of some of the problems faced in different regions so we can understand what happens in other regions and the moderator for this is Dr. Sujata who is from Coimbatore and she is going to moderate this session so Dr. Sujata over to you. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Nathan, uh, for giving me the opportunity, and I'm really pleased to be part of this team. Uh, uh, already we are running late. I think we are late by one hour, but we will try to catch up. Uh, we have a, uh, we had a really interesting session today. We looked into how to calculate and fine-tune all the different types of ketogenic diet, and we also looked into the use of uh, ketogenic diet uh, in uh, different uh, conditions apart from epilepsy, like genetic conditions, uh, a, uh, autistic spectral disorder, Parkinsonism, and depression. And uh, we also looked into the uh, keto calculator. So the last session, we have uh, three presentations and it's also going to be very interesting. And I would like to introduce our first speaker, Dr. Leo from China. Uh, he is a professor of pediatrics and uh, director of pediatric neurology and epilepsy center in Seishan Children's Hospital in China. He uh, obtained a PhD from Peking University and he did his pediatric uh, neurology training in University of Chicago as well as in Canada. He also trained in clinical genetics and uh, genetic counseling in the University of uh, Manchester. And he's a pioneer of ketogenic diet therapy in mainland of China. And uh, he has treated over 2,000 children with uh, drug resistant uh, epilepsy with ketogenic diet. And he is um, the president of Session Association uh, Against Epilepsy. And over to you, sir. And he's going to talk about how he uh, set up those 100 plus ketogenic centers in China. Over to you, sir. Thanks for introduction, and uh, thanks for invitation by Professor Janark Leizen. I'm Dr. Jianxiang Liao from China, Shenzhen Children's Hospital. Today, I would like to share the experience in China of ketogenic diet therapy. Outline, perspective of China in ketogenic diet, history and uh, progress. This is my conflict of interest. I'm a consultant of Chi Tong Zeniker, Shenzhen, China. What is a ketogenic diet? Our ex perspective, our perspective. Ketogenic diet is a formula diet with a high proportion of fat and a low proportion of carbohydrate, and it provides adequate protein and other nutrients means balanced nutrition. Is a ketogenic diet. The uh, application include health care for others and yourself, for beauty, longevity, weight loss. Clinical application in China in since uh, 2004 uh, from Shenzhen Children's Hospital. The treatment first used to treat epilepsy, then super intractable status epilepticus, but in recent years. In inflammation, traumatic diseases, cancer, dementia, and uh, others. The position of uh, ketogenic diet therapy include uh, combination with medications, surgery, and neuromodulation in epilepsy. 
Level two, epilepsy center is required to provide ketogenic diet services. It's mandatory in China. The history, clinical application in October 2004, we enrolled KD patients. One was transferred by Professor Zhong Qin from Peking University First Hospital. The patient was with autism and epilepsy drug resistant. The parents were disappointed to stop taking any medication. Chinese food with high fats prescribed. There are two patients for the first time, and another one was with LGS. Fortunately, the patient with autism and epilepsy got seizure-free effect. The dynamic was uh, no scare, no product, no hospital support, only pressure. Fortunately, outside hospital support was great. Patients transferred from Beijing, Shanghai, and Changsha because our hospital is the first hospital to start the Yannick Diet Therapy. The first clinical trial is uh, sponsored by Keto Care. The challenge appears. Professor Zhong Qin, Peking University First Hospital, led the trial and planned to enroll 10 patients with epilepsy. Later, our hospital joined the trial and enrolled 30 patients, but the, the uh, product price was expensive and there were problems with supply. So it was terminated after the clinical trial. Quick test machine of blood ketone produced by abort, sometimes not available. Shenzhen International High Tech Fair. Uh, in the fair, uh, Beijing, Yichun, a company adjust uh, their indications. The machine used for diabetes, uh, this time they used to the genetic diet therapy. We find collaborators to produce uh, products with independent intellectual property rights, Qi Tong. From 2013 to 2016, the International League Against Epilepsy established the first ketogenic diet therapy expert group led by Professor Eric Kosov. Shenzhen Chengguang Dairy Company Limited is a state owned enterprise, was the first collaborator to produce liquid milk of ketogenic diet therapy in China. Through the academic promotion, the ketogenic diet more and more popular in China. Various professional conferences, nutritionist training, translation, monograph papers. In 2014, Erica Kosov delivered a keynote speech as the National Pediatric Neurology Congress in Sudo, China, and brought John Freeman's monograph on ketogenic diet therapy. Ketogenic diet then gradually introduced in more than 100 hospitals with a cumulative total of 20,000 patients. The home products now in China include Qi Tong, Shenzhen Zeneca, Biotechnology Company Limited, Shenzhen Children's Hospital Partner. This is the hospital patent products, Jian Tong, Guangzhou, Kintong Technology Company Limited, Keto Care from Nutrition, others, Jin Le Tong, and other anti cancer, brain injury protection, beauty, and healthcare products. Research of KD in China.
According to PubMed, the first article was published in 2006, and there were many articles in 2000. 17 to 2018, a total of 87 articles. All aspects of the ketogenic diet are involved. This picture show the uh, condition. In 2018, 23 publications issued. This picture shows a worldwide uh, high impact factor articles on ketogenic diet therapy. Like in 2020, the very no carbohydrate ketogenic diet in acromegaly treatment published in New England Journal of Medicine and uh, other like uh, JAMA, the SEER. So it means research on ketogenic diet therapy is a huge project worldwide, not a small uh, question. This shows the uh, patent product uh, from Shenzhen. Zeniker ketogenic diet, the patent certificate. Next, the liquid milk, the canned food, the biscuits, and the powder. Powders. Epilepsy Foundation presented opting ketogenic diet related articles from two. 2013, this article, efficacy and safety of the ketogenic diet in Chinese children, uh, published in 2013, cited by uh, Swyman's pediatric neurology and uh, contour of brain function Oxford uh, edition. We also reviewed the articles, evaluate the uh, letter, uh, the paper uh, in critically ill children, the early versus late parental nutrition. The picture show the uh, group members. Uh, the first uh, dietary therapist task force uh, by International League Against Epilepsy, led by Professor Eric Kosov, include both uh, experts in uh, uh, children and adults. Uh, this is Professor General Leisen. In 2015, Shenzhen Children's Hospital assisted the establishment of the first ketogenic diet therapy for refractory epilepsy in Ghana because this year, International League Against Epilepsy recommend to develop ketogenic diet therapy in resource limited area. Uh, 2015, Sodo University KDT prevention in rats with uh, neurobehavior defects, zinc lipid transporter signaling pathway. This is the uh, recommendations from the International League Against Epilepsy Task Force for Dietary Therapy. What are the minimum requirements for ketogenic diet services in resource limited regions? The uh, first author is Professor Eric Kosov, Professor Hong Dong Kim, Jian Xiang Niao, uh, Jenner Nezin attended the uh, authors. The summary of the uh, 
paper published uh, in uh, Epilepsy Year, uh, 2015. In the sixth Global Ketogenic Diet Symposium, 2018 in Jeju, Korea, the third largest number of participants Participants, 44 delegates, two groups attended, three speakers and two organizing committee members from China. In this symposium, more than 6,000 people attended, the largest number ever worldwide. Yi Wu Jiang, Jian Xiang Liao, then Na Zhu were invited to lecture. Jiang and Niao are the Asian Organizing Committee member. In recent 2022, Chinese expert recommendations on ketogenic diet therapy for super refractory status epilepticus published uh, on the actor Epileptologica. This is an official journal of China Association Against Epilepsy. Our research also supported by National Foundation, like National Natural Science Foundation of China, supported Zhejiang University, Zhejiang Chinese Medicine University, the second hospital of Guangzhou Medical University, Southern Medical University, Shenzhen Children's Hospital, etc. Sino Canada Joint Fund, Spinal Cord Injury, local funds like Shenzhen Government and the Shanghai Government. The gap existing. Clinical research, there is a lack of high level evidence based medicine research in China, lack of nutritionists and the doctors with a strong interest, lack of resources, resource support from, for research. Unlike drugs, the national administration authorities also lack experience. The special food department of the state administration of quality supervision. Big challenges, promotion, mainly rely on academic promotion, can reach grassroots and to community hospitals, even central health centers expert consensus on ketogenic diet therapy, the overall and uh, for different diseases. Expectation, Ex established industry organizations, including clinicians, scientists, dietitians, research nurses, etc., to promote the development of ketogenic diet therapy and the uh, sheen practitioners and their talents. Scientific research, indication expansion, mechanism research, neuro regeneration, product development, multi center trials, establishment of ketogenic diet database, unite various forces, scientific research funds, enterprises, charitable donations, etc., overcome difficulties fully communicate with patients, communicate with leaders of hospitals and the developments to support public welfare projects that are not easy to make profits, and support dietitians, manage chronic diseases according to the scientific and the standardized implementation procedure. Go full play to the advantages of a large number of patients in a big country and make due contributions to the uh, development of ketogenic diet therapy. This is a picture of opening ceremony of Commission on Ketogenic Diet of China Association Against Epilepsy in 2021. The key point of my talk, academic promotion. In China, epilepsy center evaluation scale include uh, three levels. Level three is the uh, most advanced. It stipulates 
mandatorily, number two center must provide key to genetic diet therapy service. Dr. Niao has many professional social positions to promote and popularize key to genetic diet therapy in academic community, like active member of CAAE and the chair of CKD CAAE, president of president of Shenzhen Association Against Epilepsy, chair of pediatric neurology in Guangdong province, etc. Thanks to Shenzhen Samim project. This is Professor Hong Dong Ping and uh, Kurt Hickok from the United States to guide in our Shenzhen Children's Hospital. And, uh, the project helping to build epilepsy center. The leader, the group leader, is a famous scientist and a pediatric neurologist, uh, Ingrid Schaeffer, and others uh, include uh, Samir Berkovic, Tyron O'Brien, and Patrick Guan. And these are doctors, uh, neurosurgeon, and uh, pediatric neurologist from UCLA. The pediatric neurology group, other members of our group, thanks, special thanks to China Association Against Epilepsy. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Leo, for the extensive presentation and for uh, sharing with us the challenges you have faced. And the main thing I understood from the challenges you have faced is promotion and teaching and creating awareness about the ketogenic diet is very, very important for uh, a successful ketogenic diet. Let's move on to the next session. It is going to be interesting. Uh, we got dietitian Sakina from Malaysia who is going to do a demo session on uh, uh, how to prepare keto recipe. Like she's going to show us how to calculate keto recipe and converting into multiple recipes. So she has uh, done master of uh, health science in the University of Malaysia. And she's a clinical dietitian in hospital to include Aziza uh, Ministry of Health in Kuala Lumpur. And her special interest is in pediatrics, neonates, ketogenic diet, and as well as in births. And she has many publications and she's also a contributor for nutrition uh, for children with special needs module. It's over to you, Sakina.
thank you very much, Sakina, for uh, sharing yummy mouth watery recipe. I'm sure everyone will agree with me. I would like to taste it. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I would do it one day when I see uh, Sakina. Uh, moving on to the next part of the session. Uh, the topic is cultural, regional, and Dr. Sujata, problems. Yeah. Dr. Sujata, sorry to interrupt you. I no. guess uh, uh, Ms. Sakina has something to present as well. All oh, right. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay sorry. <clears throat> Hi. Good evening, everyone. Can you can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. We. Can. All right. Okay. Good. So um, <clears throat> I'll brief a little bit on the cooking video. Okay. Let me share this. All right, so I'm Sakina from Dietitian uh, Hospital, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Hospital Tunggu Aziza, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I'll touch a bit on the preparation before cooking and baking and some measurement of raw ingredient for the, uh, from the menus in the cooking demo video. And <clears throat> the conversion uh, menus, menus from the one recipe, which is kampung fried rice, keto nasi lemak, kodi porridge, and kodi rice wrap, which is that uh, you have watched in the 10 minute video just now. All right, so for the preparation before cooking and baking, um, this is important thing that we usually advise patient or caretaker before they start ketogenic diet. But first one is digital when scale, they need to find this, they need to, to, to have this before they start the diet. Yeah, this uh, digital when scale is very, very important to measure raw ingredient before cooking. The second, the second one is silicon spatula, which is uh, this one great for getting every last drop of, especially the oil, out of the dish and which is very critical in the keto cooking. All right. <clears throat> the third one, many mini prep bowls. When uh, preparing keto meals, you actually need small, small bowl to weigh each ingredient before combining them, before cooking them. All right. And the fourth one. Use aluminum foil muffin liners or sheet to line baking containers. This will prevent the fat from seeping away from the product. And uh, we are not advised them to use uh, the baking paper as it will absorb the fat. And the fifth one, if the ingredient is wet to touch, wipe them, um, wipe the food uh, properly uh, as dry as they can have it before they measure the, uh, the raw food. Okay. So these are the measurement of the raw ingredient from the cooking demo. We use a modified keto calculator to design this menu. Uh, as you can see, I use the main ingredient is the cauliflower to replace the rice, our staple food. I think most of the South Asia country, uh, the, staple, the staple food is the, the rice, right? So uh, we try to replace the rice with the cauliflower. So these are the measurements from the cooking menu. From one recipe, we convert to a few different menus, which is a kuali porridge, keto nasi lemak, kampung fried rice. And the advantage of this conversion is that uh, it will save time for the dietitian to calculate and prepare many more recipes. And <clears throat> also easy for caretaker or parent to remember the measurement of raw ingredients as they cook daily. And more variety dishes can be served with variety food presentation, as well as uh, by using different cooking methods. And this will in also increase the meal acceptance of the patient and also less boredom. So these are the nutrient uh, values for the recipe. And uh, we, do, uh, we take one recipe with minimal uh, recipe adjustment, which is uh, we replace the anchovies with the cheese and do some uh, a little adjustment on the oil measurement all right so these are the nutrient content so other example of simple ketogenic meals uh, such as pizza pizza is one of the uh, i think maybe a uh, meal that kids uh, always enjoy all right Pepperoni pizza round, which is pepperoni slices topped with seasoned tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. Optional ingredient, you can put mushroom, onions, green peppers, and eggplant pizza. So eggplant slice topped with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. Cheese pizza, egg white crust layer with seasoned tomato and mozzarella cheese. As you can see here, the three different menu using... Um, two uh, same ingredient, which is tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese, only that you have to adjust minimal on the, uh, the crust, okay? Other example, eggs with different style of cooking method, the egg recipe can be served in many ways and, and variety ways. For example, scrambled egg, omelette, cheesy egg, keto pancake using egg mixture, egg muffin, egg soup, and so on. 
All right, please note that all recipe are example and intake is dependent on age, body weight, medical condition, targeted ratio, and each meal need to be calculated specifically for individual child and always consult with dietitian before commencing KD or before making any adaptation to the recipe. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sakina, for the excellent session. Uh, let's move on to the next part of uh, today's session. Uh, under this topic, we have three uh, speakers. The topic is cultural, regional, and Christian problems in delivery of ketogenic diet therapy. The first speaker, I would like to uh, invite Dr. Kamaj, Manoji Kamaj from Sri Lanka. She is a consultant nutrition physician in Lady Ridgeway Hospital for Children in Colombo, and she has many publications, and she is currently involved in prepar uh, preparation of nutritional guidelines for elderly care homes as a project of Ministry of Health of Sri Lanka. And uh, she also authored chapter nutrition in the textbook, concise textbook of pediatrics, and uh, she's also involved in uh, public education, and she has uh, conducted workshops mainly in uh, prevention of obesity and undernutrition. Over to you, Dr. Damaj. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm Dr. Manoji Gamage, a consultant nutrition physician uh, from Sri Lanka, and I'm involved in the ketogenic diet therapy, the nutritional aspect. First of all, I'm very thankful to the ILE. AE task force and Dr. Uh, Nathan for giving me this wonderful opportunity to talk on cultural, regional and pushing problems in delivery of ketogenic diet therapy, the Sri Lankan perspective. So what are our difficulties? The difficulties are in the restrictions due to the pattern of ketogenic diet therapy and also due to the limitation of varieties and recipes, limitation in equipments and resources, and limitation in commercial keto products. So I'll be talking a bit about all these aspects. First of all, the Sri La I, if I introduce you, the traditional Sri Lankan meal. Our staple food is rice, so it's a carbohydrate-based meal pattern. And we eat a lot of curries, and they are also mainly carbohydrate-based and also uh, sometimes cereal flour uh, based roti and dosa are also used. So it's a very high carbohydrate based meal, which is very different to the ketogenic meal pattern. If we take the typical Sri Lankan plate, what we daily consume, you can appreciate that the, big, the, the biggest portion is the rice, which is carbohydrates. And in So you will realize that it's very difficult, different to the uh, ketogenic diet um, meal, which is high in fat and with proteins as well as very low carbohydrates. So there are problems in the reception and difficulties in the receptions, I would say, for ketogenic diet uh, in the population. So what we practice in Sri Lanka is the classical ketogenic diet. Uh, modified ketogenic diet, we do not uh, commonly practice. We have limitations in practice in this because uh, the protein sources which are liberal in this diet uh, is very expensive in our local setup for majority of people. And also, as I, I showed you before, Sri Lankan meal is a carbohydrate based meal and we are in nature, not a nation uh, which eat a lot of uh, animal source proteins. Therefore, this is a bit uh, difficult to convey them uh, to take this amount of proteins and a very low amount of carbohydrates. And also the MCT-based diet, we do not have uh, the pure MCT-based preparations. We do consume a lot of coconut milk and coconut oil, but they are not complete uh, MCT preparations, though they are mixed. So therefore, it, we find it difficult to provide the percentages that we uh, need to give in MCT um, diet therapy. So for an example, to elaborate more, 
if you take this example of a classical ketogenic diet of a five-year-old boy who is weighing 18 kilograms, and if I give a three to one regime of, and a four, four meals per day, each meal will consist of seven grams of carbohydrates, 4.5 grams of protein, and 35 grams of fat. And if I put it into this uh, tool that I found in the internet uh, with uh, www. Build a keto meal co UK, which is a very um, useful tool. So, if I put it, my uh, menu for the one meal into this uh, uh, calculator, you will uh, appreciate that the volumes are very small and comparative to the normal plate of a Sri Lankan child. So, therefore, there, there is always a challenge uh, in, uh, in satisfying their hunger. So the, our children, they will ask for more food uh, in between the meals. Therefore, some parents tend to give uh, carbohydrate-based items in between the meals because uh, when the ch children are asking for more food in hunger. And also, uh, children who are using ketogenic diets with seizure disorders and epilepsies, uh, in our culture, some of them are vegetarian because they believe for religious reasons that being a vegetarian is helpful in this kind of chronic diseases. So in this cohort, it's very difficult to convey them to take the necessary amount of protein that is needed in the ketogenic diet. And also Sri Lankan society is a, as an extended family society. So usually at least the grandparents are around the nuclear family. So they are around. So they will try to persuade the parents to give something extra to, for these children. And sometimes without the parents knowing, they will be giving um, snacks in between. So that is also a challenge that we are uh, facing. So these are the things, uh, the challenges of ketogenic diet therapy when talking about the cultural, um, traditional aspects of Sri Lankan diet. Next. I will talk about the limitation due to our resources. Uh, so uh, the kitchen scales, which are very necessary for the ketogenic diet therapy, is not available for all the uh, families. So we are still developing in this aspect. So uh, they all don't have, so then they cannot measure the meals properly. And also we do not have the tailor-made scoops for all at the moment. So we have to give them uh, the kitchen um, uh, measures, the standard measures like the tablespoon or the teaspoon. So obviously there can be changes in the measurements in this matter. So those are limitations. And also uh, the keto strip, the urinary keto strips for monitoring at home is not um, available for most of the parents in our country. Blood ketone testing is not present at the moment for household use. And these urinary ketone strips also, um, most of the families cannot afford to take uh, them home. So they will have to go to a laboratory uh, to test these ketone, uh, urinary ketone bodies also. So therefore, uh, uh, fine monitoring is difficult in our setting. And also, uh, as you all know, if you take the internet, there's a lot of, in, uh, a lot of ketogenic diet uh, recipes and a lot of preparations are used in these recipes to make it more palatable. But we do not have these special preparations at the moment like the MCT oils or double cream um, milk um, kind of preparations or uh, calagon like uh, preparations, emulsions. So we don't have these things. So they, they, these are limitations in delivering the ketogenic diet. And also, so our future challenges in ketogenic diet would be to develop locally acceptable recipes so that children will uh, be satisfied uh, with the ketogenic diet. And also we will have to uh, tackle the financial constraints in purchasing food items, especially the protein sources uh, for children who are on ketogenic diet. And also developing the supportive structure for follow-up at the local hospital is also uh, needed. Because uh, 
most at the moment only the main centers are having ketogenic diet therapy so they will have to uh, go to the main centers to get their uh, routine monitoring as well as for ketone bodies testing so all these so supportive structure at the local hospital we have to develop and within the household also monitoring facility has to be improved uh, by by making ways that ketogenic uh, keto urinary keto strips are available to everyone to monitor so these are our challenges so we have planned ahead to come up from these difficulties so we are trying to build awareness through counseling programs to the parents before the onset of ketogenic diet because uh, with that we will be able to tell them prior and to get them to get a good understanding about this ketogenic diet uh, when they are struggling when the children are hungry and so on and also we are reaching out to the culinary services to build new recipes so that they can incorporate the oil component especially into the recipe so hide it within the recipe so that it is more palatable and also uh, we are looking forward to make specialized products available such as the um, the keto cal and the specialized uh, keto formulas which are used uh, in during infancy which is very useful during the infancy and also multivitamins which are sugar free so these kind of uh, preparations are not available at the moment so we have to uh, de use alternatives so we we are looking forward to develop these aspects and also we are, we are planning to streamline the monitoring, uh, monitoring and the laboratory services so that the local hospitals will be avail, uh, able to do the ketogenic, the urine ketone body testing, and maybe uh, to uh, make available blood ketone testing for uh, affordable families at least. So these are our uh, planning ahead and our future uh, perspective on the ketogenic diet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamake, for the uh, excellent presentation and sharing the challenges you're facing. I'm facing the same challenge because in this part of India, uh, the rice is the major part of our diet and it is very difficult to convince parents. Moving on to the uh, next uh, uh, session, uh, we have the a speaker from uh, Pakistan. We got dietitian Hira Farooq. She's going to tell us the challenges which she's facing in Pakistan in delivering ketogenic diet. So hello all, um, my topic is cultural, regional and cuisine problems in delivery of ketogenic diet therapy in Pakistan. I'm Hira Farooq, a clinical dietitian for pediatric nutrition and ketogenic diet at AKUH. So um, in Pakistan, in Pakistan, uh, we have a large consumption of uh, wheat, roti, naan, um, lots of rice in our meal. Um, as this is the South Asian region, uh, we do have a lot of intake of um, uh, potato and vegetables. In some areas, there is a lot of consumption of honey, uh, a lot of desserts, mitai. Um, most of the foods are carbohydrate based uh, as in, in, in no roti or naan or chapati. Form. or we do have a uh, consumption of such foods in which um, uh, there is a lot uh, of consumption of wheat or um, or bread or a kind of um, a kind of uh, desserts and sugars and all other things so as you can see in this uh, in this map there is a large volume of rice uh, in some areas there is a large consumption of um, uh, milk and yogurt and as well um, dal rice uh, karahi nihari in which a lot of um, a lot of um, wheat is has to be uh, in, included so what is the cultural and regional cuisine of pakistan as i said wheat is a staple food in uh, in our country and as well as there is a high consumption of rice and other simple carbohydrates in a larger amount in our usual diet um, one more thing is there is heavy use of spices and condiments such as ginger garlic 
peppers green peppers white peppers black peppers so um uh, this this is the, this is the main and crucial part of our regional cuisine to enhance the flavors of our food um the, and and again there is a larger consumption of lentils and vegetables but not in in, in a salad form or the fresh form but usually in a bhujia or a curry form uh, in which potato is top of the list so there is a greater consumption of potato with um, multiple things like we can add potato with the meat or with uh, with lentils and uh, um, and other things in uh, most of the areas of pakistan there is a lot of meat intake but not in the form of um, not in the form of a combination meal but as a uh, as a whole or as a lean meat uh, and then uh, deep fried foods there is an excess uh, use of uh, oil or um, uh, rohan uh, usually uh, called in our local language so um, these these are the cultural and regional cuisines of pakistan I would like to present a case scenario in which we have modified a ketogenic diet therapy for our patient. For our patient. Um, AW was, is our patient who is 15 years old. He was diagnosed with LGS. Uh, he was having 10 to 15 atonic seizures, having drop attacks on average in a day. So we planned to start him on a ketogenic diet with a ratio of 2 is to 1. Uh, his, uh, he was having uh, oral, food orally. So uh, he, was, um, he was having food orally with higher carbohydrate content and simple sugars um, with a limited variety of food. So uh, we do take his dietary recall and his dietary recall was... Usually in breakfast, he used to uh, take omelette, paratha, a tea with sugar. And then uh, there was a mid-morning or mid-afternoon snack we, uh, because uh, mother thinks that the child is weak and he's having, he was, he's having drop attacks. So she, she increases the consumption of sugar in, her, in his meal. Uh, she is offering him milkshakes and juices and french fries uh, in, as a snack uh, to, to strengthen him in, in her thought uh, and to provide him more energy. In, uh, while in lunch and dinner, he used to take um, dals or uh, lentils with boiled rice and yogurt. And uh, in dinner, he was having any kind of meat with potatoes and chapati. So this was the dietary modification uh, we have done for him. Uh, we keep the pattern the same. Uh, we do not change the pattern of meal, uh, rather the options of the meal or, or enhance and improve the options of the meal. Uh, we just offer, we just keep the pattern the same to, to increase the adaptability of the child to, um, to adopt, adapt to the KD as well. And um, uh, to avoid any inconvenience for the parents to offer him high fat meal. Uh, so this is this is just a comparison. This is I, I just want to share the, show the comparison how we uh, switch the dietary, how we do the dietary modification for this patient. We keep the breakfast same, just changing, uh, just changing the type of omelet he was having. So this this was the dietary recall. And if you can compare it with the with the dietary recall and the dietary modification. Uh, so we just offer him cheese omelet replaced paratha with bran bread and this was toasted with butter as he was he her mother was using uh, refined flour for the paratha for the mid morning and mid afternoon as he was uh, he was used to have milkshakes and juices so we just switched it to prepare a milkshake kind of a thing with keto cal and, and a fruit uh, with precise calculation um, there is a large consumption of french fries overall uh, so we just changed this french fries to fried chicken strips with potatoes and butter uh, and, and tried to make it to the uh, similar uh, similar texture and similar appearance as the child was having uh, with lunch and dinner we we offer him with chicken dal moon and butter and and we do try some new recipes and new developments uh, for this child um, there there was an uh, there was an another addition of uh, oatmeal and egg pancakes in the child so the child was consuming it as a as a support to the curry item and then in dinner, um, uh, we offer him uh, with butter fried fish or any other kind of a meat or the ground meat with vegetables and cream and with fr uh, fried bran rice, basically. So uh, this was the child. We used to plan his, his meal after every 15 days. We used to uh, modify his diet after every 15 to 20 days as the child uh, was having um, oral meals, but he was having some likes or dislikes and refusals. So uh, these were all the things behind this. Uh, these, these dietary modifications were with precise calculation of grams and milligrams and all the condiments, all the spices were also called calculated, including the green chilies, the black peppers and ginger 
ginger's and garlics so all these things were precisely calculated with measurements of grams and milligrams we do face some uh, some challenges uh, while uh, uh, while uh, running the KD for this patient and, and and having adaptability of this patient. So parental counseling was the first first and the most uh, challenging situation for us. Uh, his mother used to call. His mother used to ask um, on every follow up uh, if he if his um, uh, if uh, if the child is having uh, some roti or some naan or some some other kind of uh, thing that he was used to uh, have it have previously. So the parental counseling was a challenge. But once the parent, parents convinced and understand what the, what the KD means and how to run it, uh, then this was, this was the phase that we are quite easy with them to start the KD. And there is a greater challenge again of elimination of simple carbohydrate from diet because uh, because as I have told earlier, uh, the, our staple food is roti or naan. So this this is the most challenging situation as the child was having uh, diet orally. So this was the most challenging situation. But, um, and uh, and and similarly, acceptance and adaptability of the child for KD diet because this this contains a lot of fat and butter and oil in it. So um, and a child is having oral intake. So um, and the child is younger in his siblings uh, and all other siblings are having some some foods like chips and juices in front of him so the overall lifestyle of family we have to we have to counsel them to to adapt it to change the overall lifestyle of the family and to support the child uh, with his oral intake of ketogenic diet Again, there was a challenge of uh, um, uh, limiting the spices and condiments in his diet, um, as there is a greater a greater taste development, and the, and the child was uh, was uh, was refusing the meal to uh, accept and to take it orally uh, because scary was not that palatable. So this was a challenge to make the make his food palatable uh, at the same time and and um, beneficial for him. But Alhamdulillah, after after facing such challenges, the child is doing so well on KD and he is improving much more. So thank you. This is uh, this is it from my side. Thank you very much, Hira, for uh, uh, the very concise presentation. And it is interesting to see how you uh, modified the normal diet into the keto diet. With this, I would like to invite the uh, last speaker of the session. Uh, we got a dietitian from UAE, Masuma Al Jasmi. Uh, she has got extensive experience in the field of uh, ketogenic diet, and she's a head of uh, clinical nutrition in all Jalila uh, Children's Hospital. And uh, her special interest is ketogenic diet and type 1 diabetes. She's an expertise uh, in uh, treating patients in NICU, pediatric intensive care, and those with food allergies and metabolic syndrome. And she's also a certified diabetic educator. She's going to tell us the challenges uh, uh, in delivering ketogenic diet from UAE perspective. Dr. Samar uh, is your dietitian with you, Masuma. And Dr. Samar. Uh, Sujata, we, she has, we can't see her as yet. Yes, sir. So. Do we have her presentation, sir? No, she, she, she was not able to make it. Okay. <clears throat> so she said she'll do it live, but she doesn't seem to have come. Okay, sir. So I really think we can now wind up within a few minutes. I'm going to uh, So thank you. I thank all the members of the faculty the presenters, the chairpersons, you've done a great, really great job. Uh, to have a two-day workshop like this going on for eight to nine hours is really nice very nice. good. Uh, Dr. Masuma, are you available? Dr. Masuma, if you're available, please unmute and tell us. Now I think there is some yeah, problem there. <clears throat>
So I just wanted to finish with uh, some some things that we are doing here in our center and our contribution to epilepsy and the ketogenic diet. Uh, to learn more about the ketogenic therapy, please check out our website ketogenicdietindia.org Ketogenic Diet India being one word and we are now using the ketogenic uh, therapy here in cancer neurodegener and neurodegenerative disorders. Uh, we also have set up a Vijay Epilepsy Care Foundation to help <coughs> create awareness on the th therapy, to conduct research in these and to provide free diagnosis, medication and treatment to children. You can see over here, the many children who are looked after as free. <coughs> and we also help those in the rural areas. We have free cancer. How are you, everyone? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, Mama Suma, that uh, we thought you were not available. So, no, I'm well available, but I try to enter uh, to the to sharing the my the screening. It was difficult. <laughs> so, okay. Can I start? Yes, please. Okay. I want to try to share my the presentation. And so if you want we can put your your Yes, your yes. I am able. Now I am able to put it. Oh See? great. Yeah. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Sorry for uh, technician problem. Uh, this is my name, Masoum Al Jasmi. Uh, I am head of the nutrition sec uh, section in Al Jalila Children and Hospital. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nathan, for inviting me for this uh, comprehensive uh, conference and workshop, which is it was very uh, useful. Uh, so I would like to the, talk about the cultural, regional, and the cuisine problem and delivery of the ketogenic diet uh, in UAE perspective. So uh, first of all, I will try with my journey with the ketogenic diet. Uh, when I was young, I had one close relative with the epileptic that we, we took it here the, so many places and it was no treatment at that time. And uh, when I joined to a professional uh, career, I met uh, neuro, uh, neuro doctors that she's uh, give for me the ketogenic diet. But unfortunately, it was difficult to me for to understand how to treat and how to um, start the ketogenic diet with the patient. So in uh, 2008, uh, I went to Kuwait for training for ketogenic diet in Kuwait. Uh, but implementation, it was difficult in previous hospital that it was, uh, according to the administration, there is no facilities to start it. The, that's such a difficult diet for in the hospital. So uh, I had a very challenge, but still a patient who were started on the ketogenic diet from um, abroad uh, were seen uh, in coordination with the di uh, dietitian from the UK, Miss Beth. Uh, so the, we, the, I, I try to follow the patient that they already seen by Beth in UAE. The patient, most of the patient, they was in, from Oman uh, and UAE. Currently, we don't have a, a keto center in the United Arab Emirates. There is three hospitals that they give the service of the uh, of the treatment for uh, epileptic patient non response to uh, to medication. This is the patient that uh, since I started, uh, I am following with them around the 27 patients. So uh, in terms of the culture aspect, uh, as you know, uh, the UAE uh, contain all nationalities. We have around the 200 nationalities and, main, uh, and carb are the main the dietary composition 
and the choose of the among the UAE families and also the uh, non uh, local uh, pa uh, patient or uh, nationalities. Therefore, changing to ketogenic diet is em emotional effect uh, difficult for families to accept and perceive the some limitation to the rapid uh, adaptation to ketogenic diet. The concept of the ketogenic diet, it is new. So many people, they think that a ketogenic diet for weight management because uh, uh, med uh, social media active in this part. So all families, they think that ketogenic diet just to reduce uh, weight. Uh, and the uh, other problem that we are facing that uh, uh, families or the parents, they prefer to go to abroad to, for treatment rather than in, in country. Uh, in addition, there is a lack of the well-trained dietitian and supporting personnel. The lack of the experienced physician also and the dietitian could, uh, could also to contribute to uh, their attitude against the ketogenic diet. Uh, also difficult to adherence uh, adherence to the ketogenic diet on uh, we have a lot of uh, occasions of uh, Eid families uh, gathering we have holidays uh, and also the interference of the relatives like grandfather uh, uh, grandfather grandmother uh, sit around the patients make it difficult to adherence to diet. Uh, if, uh, in the, regarding the regional, the, as we said, it is a new concept, difficult to follow, follow for the vegan and the vegetarians as protein, uh, as we know that uh, all the legumes, it is combination of the protein and carb. So the, we found that the difficulties to uh, manage the low carb uh, diet and uh, to prepare the menu for patients. Um, uh, also, the lack of the re uh, re uh, regional uh, cuisine, it is, this is another problem that we are facing. Uh, for cuisine, lack of the ketogenic traditional form, food, lack of awareness even among the diet cooks about the preparation of the ketogenic diet without uh, compr uh, compromising the taste and the um, appearance. Parents find the difficulties to prepare the food, uh, especially here in our in the UAE. They depend to the caregiver uh, too much to prepare the food to the give for the baby. This is the reason also the dif uh, difficult to uh, get it to the caregiver. Uh, most of them they are un uh, uneducated to prepare it uh, meal plan. I had one patient that caregiver, we cal after we calculated the cal uh, keto uh, ketogenic diet uh, three to one, uh, she's keep it to give uh, so many times a day, like uh, after, and we, the mother always, she's uh, complained that the, the ketones, it was the uh, drop. When we searched, we found it that the uh, caregiver, she's give the same food so many times a day. Uh, and this is, it is uh, make it the ratio change uh, uh, as we calculated. This is simple menu. As you, found, uh, as you see, the main dishes in the UAE, uh, it is dependent to the carb. For example, uh, uh, in the breakfast, we have uh, vermicelli with the egg. Uh, occasionally, we have uh, blalit uh, and ligamat, uh, which is it is a يعني, special dishes for in the Ramadan. And also the biryani, a lot of the kinds of the biryani uh, with meat, with fish, with chicken. Uh, this is also we have to and uh, difficult to add it in the system to calculate it exactly the amount of the carb. Uh, well, uh, also, the, not uh, we don't have all the barriers, but we have some ad advantage of the ketogenic diet in the UAE. Current availability of the professionals in ketogenic diet involving doctors, nurses, uh, speech therapy, clinical dietitians. Uh, also, we have uh, the resource and the link for the further education over the condition. Supplement it is available at all times. If not, we uh, we contact with uh, the companies, uh, and they provide it uh, a sample to until we get it uh, from other source. Uh, 
implement, implementation of the nutrition assessment and intervention tools, uh, we use it, the keto uh, calculator diet, which is make it the, our life much easier before we take it a lot of that time to calculate it and to reach uh, the ratio that we want. Uh, possible charity in case um, uh, the financial problem we have, we try to get it from uh, charity and uh, so many the uh, supplement, especially the keto call, it is covered by insurance, which is good, uh, good things. Uh, and uh, because, uh, the uh, supplement are the expensive to self paying patients. So we try to help them uh, from other way. Uh, this is the two cases I will I would uh, I I would like to present it. The one case uh, after we started the ketogenic diet and the uh, uh, ketones it was uh, almost three. Uh, the seizure it's uh, decrease. Ma the frequency of the seizure it is also decrease. But uh, after one year and a half, uh, physician they decided to stop the ketogenic diet and to increase the top, uh, topomax. Uh, but when I ch check with the parents, still they are uh, they avoided any sugary food and the low, they are uh, using the low carbs. It is like uh, the uh, modified um, diet. The symptom is uh, according to them, it is same, two to three times daily mild seizures. Uh, but the things that, uh, we the we the we observe with this cases uh, the frequency in the, uh, frequency seizures improved and con, uh, con, uh, con, cognition behavior it was improved and patient it was more active. The second uh, cases six years old uh, case after we started uh, they admitted uh, to hospital but uh, they this case it was for they have the financial problem the the patient lived with the big family they are far away from uh, dubai uh, who's the person the elder brother he's care about this uh, patient so it was difficult to us to continue the ketogenic diet. So we uh, decided to stop the uh, discontinued ketogenic diet and to go to the low carb and uh, uh, low sugar. Our initiative uh, to educate the parents, it was uh, this year in, uh, in June. Uh, we tried with the col uh, collaboration with the Nestle company uh, they, we got the initiative project to educate parents, a dietitian, and uh, parents how to prepare it, uh, the ketogenic diet. And we, they invited uh, Chef Nell for uh, Nestle conducted hand uh, hand sun workshop on preparation ketogenic diet for both uh, dietitian and parents, and it was a useful workshop. Parents, they were happy. They got it, uh, ideas to how to prepare it, varieties of food. Uh, children was they are was happy, and they got it uh, uh, the variety of food uh, that like other the healthy children. This is some pictures that I would like to the sharing with you. Here are the dietitian and the parents and the children also. They uh, they they contributed to prepared milk, uh, the diet. Thank you. Thank you very much, Masumu, for the uh, concise presentation and sharing the challenges you came across and how you are overcoming the challenges. I think uh, from the last session, we can understand many of us are facing a lot of challenges because of uh, uh, reduced awareness and uh, lack of training among the doctors and dietitians about the ketogenic diet. I think the, this workshop uh, conducted by ILA, ILA and uh, Dr. Nathan will definitely overcome this challenge. And I would like to Thank uh, Dr. Nathan and his team on behalf of the attendees for this excellent workshop. Uh, let me see whether we have got any questions. I could see there was one question uh, for Sakina. Is there an alternative for cauliflower? So you have used cauliflower uh, for one of your recipes.
Sakina, are you there? Uh, it is the least expensive. The alternatives are miracle rice, very expensive. So I think cauliflower rice is supposed to be the least expensive. And I think the person who asked the question is from Sri Lanka and I think it is expensive there. Yeah, because it's too expensive there. Yeah. Okay, as we wind up, Uh, so this is the Asian Institute for Ketogenic yeah, Therapy and the trust we set up the Vijay Epilepsy Care where we look after many children who are mentally challenged and have epilepsy and we also hold these large epilepsy camps where the attendance is about 400 in each camp and we do, we conduct three camps every year. Uh, I'm so sorry. We conduct three camps every year since now it is 33 years, not 30. Uh, so, and we have set up the Asian Institute for Ketogenic Therapy with our own website where you'll get a lot of data. We've been telling you this that we have a one month training course and we have held workshops in different countries, including India, and centers have been trained by us. We also held two webinars for Asia, Africa, and Australia and have conducted workshops elsewhere. I believe at the end of this, all those remaining here will agree with me, keto diet is the diet of the 21st century. And uh, I think we also need to think that every time they say keto diet, they say non-pharmacological. No, this is, this is pharmacological, you're getting ketones. Once you put ketones into a tablet, if we can get it, and uh, you patent it, you're going to say that, okay, now this is pharmacology because of the num multifarious actions it has. My eternal thanks always to Dr. John Freeman and his dietitian, Millicent Kelly. Dr. John Freeman left us about 300, uh, three and a half years ago and Millicent Kelly is still alive. She's very old. She doesn't attend our meetings, but the next time I go to US, I would love to go and meet her. I owe both of them a lot. And my thanks to the Johns Hopkins uh, Pediatric Epilepsy Group. And we are celebrating 100 years of the ketogenic diet. So thank you very much. Thank all of you. And bye-bye. Uh, Shukriya, Shukran. Ma salam, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, sir. With that, we end the meeting and we hope to have some more in-person meetings. Take picture.